I'm Tanya Fox, editor of Cardmaker Magazine, and I'd like to thank you for joining me today. We're creating this short video to let you know about some exciting changes that are taking place with Cardmaker and to give you a sneak peek at some of the exciting projects you'll find in our new issue. I know you're anxious to see the projects we have lined up for you in the September issue, but before we get to those, let's take a quick look at some of the exciting changes you'll find in Cardmaker, changes I know you're going to love. To start things off, we've given the entire issue, including our cover, a bit of a facelift, and I hope you'll agree that browsing the pages of Cardmaker is even more enjoyable than ever. We've added fresh, new graphic elements, punched up the color on the pages, and have spent extra time photographing the projects to make sure that each and every one is presented in the very best way it can be. With more step-by-step -step photo tutorials, I am confident that you'll find it even easier to create these projects no matter how long you've been making cards. Another significant change that we've made is in the way we list the products that are used to create each of the projects. The information that was previously included in the materials list and the sources for each project has been combined into one handy, all-inclusive list that contains specific product information, including the manufacturer, company given product names, and, when helpful, product numbers. As always, we want your crafting experience with us to be as fun and enjoyable as possible. In addition, you'll find that the project instructions have been simplified a bit and are now presented in numbered steps to make following along even easier. For those of you who love the in-depth instructions that we've always provided, don't worry, we're not eliminating any of the important details. In fact, we're also adding tip boxes that include helpful little tidbits of crafting information from the talented designers that we work with. It's our mission to present you with eye-catching card designs and informative technique articles that will inspire you. And now, without further delay, Let's take a look at some of the exciting projects and articles that you'll find in our September issue. In our Copic Coloring Technique feature, Colleen Sean, Copic Regional Certification Instructor and co-author of the Copic Coloring Guidebooks, joins us to share another great tutorial on basic blending. If you're new to coloring with Copics, this tutorial is the perfect place for you to start. If you're well-versed in Copic techniques, this is a great opportunity to go back and review basic coloring principles. Clay pieces, both pre-made and handcrafted, have been growing in popularity in home decor and fashion as well as in crafting. In Crafting with Clay, Tammy Mayberry shares valuable information on the different kinds of clay products that are available to use in creating unique, one-of-a-kind embellishments for your cards. With these lightweight, easy-to-use products, your card embellishment options will be limitless. And if you're feeling really adventurous, Read on to discover how you can create your own molds and resin shapes with an informative article from designer and class instructor Carol Lassick. I know you'll be inspired. Next, Christy Shaw tells us that making a scene, with rubber stamps that is, is a good thing and a great exercise in creativity. Christy walks us through the simple steps to creating fun greeting cards using an assortment of stamped images. And, as in the samples that follow her article, you'll see how other designers have used the same creative approach with papers, inks, and embellishments to create unique scenes in their designs. If you're looking for some quick and easy card designs, be sure to check out New Ways with Basic Punches, where designers Melanie Bradley and Kimber McGray have teamed up to share some fun ideas using punches to create easy-to-make cards. Discover how basic circle, star, and heart punch shapes become beautiful butterflies, lovely flowers, and interactive pop-up designs when mixed with just a little creativity. For seasonal project ideas, enjoy the colorful and inspiring collections of cards that we've included in All Occasion Autumn Cards and Halloween Tricks and Treats, as well as the project showcased in our In Every Issue features. We've covered a wide range of occasions and with cards featuring stamping, coloring, quilling, and folding, there's something for everyone, no matter your skill level. Don't forget to join in on the weekly challenges included in the Card Challenge Corner for additional card-making inspiration. I hope you've enjoyed this sneak peek at some of the projects, techniques, and articles that you'll find in the new issue. 
Please be sure to visit cardmakermagazine.com for a full lineup of projects in every issue. And while you're there, be sure to visit our blog for additional card making inspiration, some challenges, and a little behind the scenes fun featuring the card maker staff and our blog team. If you have suggestions for a future issue, or if you'd like to share a photo of a project you were inspired to create from the current issue, please email me at editor at cardmakermagazine.com. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for joining me, and until next time, happy card making.